Now I've done a video on the basis of how to set up your car to be faster. So now let's do a video on something that I see a lot of people, including me, struggle with. Actually driving. Now, of course, most of your lap time is going to come from how well your car is set up for that track. Make no mistake. But a lot of times it comes with the driver ability as well. In this video, I'm going to go over some things you can do to help improve as a driver. Crashing is quite common in RC. That's why we have marshals in the first place. Though when you're just starting out, chances are you're going to crash. If you're just starting out in a novice or sportsman class and you want to place well, simply put in as much track time as you can. The more track time you put in, the more familiar you'll be with both your car and the track layout. In sportsman and novice, usually the fastest person there isn't the one pushing the hardest, but usually the person who's most consistent. This is going to be a reoccurring theme, so pay attention. There's no real secret trick to getting better at this stage. Only consistent practice and repetition will help you improve. If you find yourself crashing at a specific part of the track, if the track is vacant with little to no traffic, Try to do that specific corner or feature over and over again to where you can almost do it with your eyes closed. It's not uncommon for local fast guys to have hundreds of laps logged at their home track. I know I do. If you live far away from your track and can't make it to practices, try to arrive at the track much sooner on race day so you can not only get a good spot in the pits, but also get a decent amount of track time before the race. With time you'll get much better and make less mistakes and you'll be able to push your car a bit faster. Speaking of which, once you get to the point in which you aren't crashing into the walls every 5 seconds, you'll want to start doing some more controlled practices, or drills. One thing I started doing that's helped me out a lot is setting up the timer and driving as hard as you can without crashing for however long the race is going to be. If it's 7 minutes, then set it for 7 minutes. If it's 10, then set it for 10. This is to train to drive for a certain amount of time without crashing or making mistakes. If you're lucky and have access to the lap time system, you can reset your practice every time you go out for that time practice to check how many laps you can do, what your fastest time is, and most importantly, what your average lap time is. Another skill that comes with time is being able to tell when you can actually push your car and when you have to let off. Sometimes you might land a jump wrong or perhaps your car gets unsettled after a sudden bump on a straight. When your car gets upset like this, it's important to let it settle before getting back on the power or back it to your rhythm. The key is to know when the car is upset or unstable, and that, unfortunately, also can only come with time and experience. Now once you get into this habit, you'll be able to actually start working on your lap times. There's a few things you can do to improve them. Start taking corners a little bit tighter and push a little bit harder where you can. Though don't push so hard as to sacrifice your consistency. Now I can't really tell you what to do at each and every track, but your local fast guy probably can. not Talk to someone faster than you and ask what they do to get a fast lap. Ask how they approach certain features of the track to keep the momentum. For example, this part on this specific track in AJC Speedway in Aquif, Georgia. A fast lap on this track would be considered anything under 13 seconds. For a time I managed to get down to the mid 12 second range and I thought that was as fast as I could get. Of course during practice I started trying to push even harder and I discovered a way in which I was losing time. On this jump I noticed I wasn't on power on the landing. Usually I take time to settle the car after a jump before getting on the power even when I don't have to. I learned that if I got on the power sooner when my car was able to settle immediately after landing, I could save time. This started to push my times down to the low 12 second range instead of the mid 12s. I also started doing this at other tracks where possible and began fitting faster and placing better. This mindset of where can I find more time is exactly what you need to have if you want to get faster. Speaking of mindset. Now before I begin this segment, I'm going to let you know now that this is my mindset towards racing. Listen, I know that racing can get frustrating sometimes, lots of times even. Things don't always go your way and that could suck. Here's a little secret though, usually the angrier you get, the worse you'll perform on the track. This extends to getting angry at marshals and such. Now again I know sometimes that you can get shafted by a bad marshal. They may not see you flip over, they might be helping another car when you crash, they may even flip you back over onto your back and your nitro engine stalls out because of it and that really, really sucks. In the end, the only thing you can really do is grit your teeth and creep on driving when you can. No, yelling or getting pissed off at the turn marshal is not going to make things better. If anything, it's going to make things worse. Remember, we are grown men, and sometimes women, playing with toy cars. I remember I met a South African man named Fernando at Hot Charter Sea when it was still open and doing on-road. 
I used to crash all the time and got angry at turn marshals all the time. He pulled me to the side and said nine words that stuck with me to this day. If you don't want to get marshaled, don't crash. Finding a way to calm down during a race is very important. Personally, I like to play reruns of Bob Ross in my headphones through anything that calms you down and helps you focus will do. If you think that the woes of your day can't affect your driving, you're quite wrong. If you had a bad day at work, school, or anything at all really, that can affect your driving. RC is something that's supposed to be fun. It's up to us as hobbyists to allow it to be fun. That's all for now. If you have any tips for improving your driving that you might want to share, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. I also implore you to hit the like button if you liked the video and hit the bright red subscribe button if you want to see more. I'll see you later.